Um, I just wanted to make a point, though, about the family that does feel like, uh oh, is it too late for my family? Because sometimes, you know, parents um, may, may not have been doing a lot of these things in the beginning with their children, but at some point, you know, reality hits and they realize I have to catch up on my parenting. Um, is all hope lost? No. Um, and if you find yourself in a situation where you haven't been really teaching the, your children Dean and, and a lot of these things are kind of now coming to uh, the surface and you want to reestablish your relationship with your children, I think having really open, honest communication is the key. Um, as, as we've talked about throughout the panel, uh, speaking from your own perspective and, and vulnerability and actually admitting your own shortcomings and your own failings is a wonderful, amazing way for you to connect with your teens. And I can say that as someone who works a lot with teens. And one of the issues that is very common in our communities and in, or in our community and many of our cultures is this idea that parents never show weakness to their children. And they are always, uh, they don't even apologize in some cases. I mean, I, I've spoken with parents and teens where the teen will tell me, in, with the parents standing there, that my parents never apologize for anything, even when they make mistakes. And this is a really big um, problem in our community. We have to get over this sort of ego, very self-centered type of parenting. We are all in the same boat. Our children are really, I think, I mean, Allah knows, but in, throughout history, I, can, I feel like the issues that they deal with are unprecedented. We really got the easy you know, path. I, I, I'm so grateful that I'm not a teen. I really am. I, I swear, when, I, when I hear what they go through and I see what they're up against, I'm like, Ya Allah, thank you for saving me from the insanity that our poor children have inherited. So we have to be more empathic, more sympathetic to what they're going through. And the only way that we can receive uh, or that, that we can, um, you know, have more open communication is for us to kind of, you know, be, be humble a little bit, bring ourselves down, admit that, you know what, I didn't do, I, my priorities were maybe off the first five, six, seven, ten years, fifteen years of your life. I'm sorry, I was career oriented, I had this going on, that going on, and maybe I didn't give you the attention that you deserve, maybe I wasn't interested in what you were doing. I'm so sorry if I felt, if, if I, because of my distractions or my other, you know, lack of maybe focus, I didn't make you feel important enough, but I want to redo that. Can I reset that, please? Let, you know, and, and start from that place of owning what you didn't do that should have been done as a parent, and then asking for a, a, re, a renewal of your relationship. I feel like children would probably really much more uh, respect you and actually really see you in a different light if we were to do that more as parents, as opposed to uh, letting the distance continue and, and you know, just the, the relationship. Because a, a lot of parents feel like, well, there's nothing I can do. The doors are slamming in my face. Um, you know, I've lost my child and it's my fault. And they kind of think, I hope, you know, I, there's no hope. No, that's from shaitan. It's waswasa. There's always hope with Allah. We are not a religion of despair. We're a religion of hope. And it sometimes it does come down to something so basic as you apologizing and saying, I am sorry, I'm, I'm not perfect, I'm human, I failed, but I love you enough to want to have a redo. Please join me in this. And, and, and just from there, inshallah. Mm -hmm.